What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here. The time has come to wrap up our Bloodborne walkthrough. So, of course, as you may notice, our look has changed quite a bit from the previous episode. I actually spent some time um, just kind of crafting this out and finalizing it out into the very first build, which you guys will see the video for that later today. But for now, it's time to go take on the final boss. The Great Tree. up old man good hunter you've done well the night is near its end now I will show you mercy you will die forget the dream and awake under the morning sun you will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream yeah, not happening. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. comes down to the hunters help her to clean up after these sorts of messes hey man you think you can take me I'll pull out that scythe and show me what you got gammon joins the hunt Pretty good range on it, I'll give you that. Do I have any, uh, oh my god, I don't. Do 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 do. Why did I not put these on? Uh, let's do bolt. Man, I'll tell you what, you can move pretty fast for an old man. See, unfortunately for you, German, I've been doing PvP all day, so. You're nothing special. Is this all you got? Final boss, this is all you got to offer for me? Okay. What the katana guy was harder than you are. This is. We're doing something though. Whoa! It's a pretty mean AoE you got there. Whoa! Just did like an instant freaking uh, instant stagger on me. Oh shit! All right, I guess sitting in that wheelchair has let you save up all your powers for a while. Cause you got some crazy moves now. Oh my god. I'm probably dead here. Wow. He actually took me down. Alright, we died, but that's actually really good, because in retrospect, I realized I forgot to eat my umbilical cords. 
so let's nom down these. Mm, nummy, nummy, nummy. So tasty, right? And that's three. Alright. Let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna put on fire paper. I'll just put them both. We got fire paper. Do do do. Wonder where all those uh Remain, what'd you do with all my echoes? Where are they at? Son of a bitch. Ow. Making me have to pull out the wheel, Germain. Ow. Wow. Okay. He is not a fan of me hitting him with the wheel, apparently. Which that's too bad. Because my wheel knows no bounds. Except for when I get wombo like that. I like how he's a hell of a lot more aggressive this time around than he was last time. And I still don't know where my echoes are at. I really would like to find those. I had a, quite a bit of echoes on me. Maybe I have to actually kill him to get them back? No, that can't be. Echoes, echoes, where are you at? Where, where can you... Never gonna find him in this freaking flower field. Whatever. Come on, old man. What do you know about the Legarius wheel? Back up for his explosion. Damn it. That just hits, like... Damn it. You are just consistently whooping my ass with that, aren't you? Not what I wanted to do. Enough that I'm losing my lock. Alright, wheel's not gonna work now that he's like hyper speed. This isn't good. slaughtered and the old hunter badge this is why we ate the umbilical cord I think it was like trying to absorb us 
And maybe it like senses the cords in us, and now it's not happy. Either way, I have no blood vials. <laughs> oh my god, please go away. I have no vials. There it is. I could have told you I wasn't going to beat that thing with any vials. Way bigger run for our money than I expected he would. Especially, I mean, the first attempt against him, you know, we we kind of just cleared right through that. Um, second time around, he was not having our shit. He was just like, nope. So one of the benefits of dying right there, which I did just test and then obviously just cut a little bit of footage, but we were in fact able to buy the Burial Blade. Took the liberty of upgrading it up to plus 10 already. And as you can see, probably one of the coolest weapons in the game, but I've uh, run into this thing quite a bit in PvP and it's fucking brutal. Plus the swing off into the scythe, oh man, just awesome. Oh, you respawn anyway. Whew. Let's see what the L2s look like with this thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have fun with this in New Game Plus. But just to show you the stats on that, because I'm sure some people are curious, at max tier it gets a B in Arcane and a B in Skill. Not too shabby. Alright, either way though, let us uh, go back and smash this boss now. The proper way, now that we have vials. Tell you what, this thing is just kind of all over the place. We are uh, really just strength build smashing our way to victory right now. Whoa! Alright, get some good attacks. I don't give it that. Come on, come get me. Let's see what this will do to it. Boom! Oh, Cannon did not stagger it. I think, I don't know if we did stagger it there or not, but we bought enough time to heal up. It's doing something. I don't know what it's doing. What are you doing? What are these orbs? Blood explosions! Shit, every time he does that, it almost kills me alright. This thing is fast. Pretty grotesque. But the Kirk Hammer will not be outdone! Boom! Oh no! It didn't connect. Oh my god, dude, the blood rain is all over the place. Oh shit, <clears throat> that thing it just did prevents healing. Oh man, this is bad. I gotta kill it now. Oh, nope, I'm probably dead. Oh man, I got through it. So that's interesting. Boss has a mechanic which outright prevents healing of the character. That is uh, not something to be fucked with. Fortunately for you, Kirk Hammer will not be outdone! Boom! And the moon presence goes down. One last praise with the Nightmare Slain.
Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Okay, so, probably the most obscure ending I have ever seen. No idea why the doll felt the need to cradle the little Cthulhu at the end there. And then say, I'm a good hunter, for some reason. That's a little strange. Either way, a hell of a game. Um, <clears throat> for those that don't know, I like to do a little kind of makeshift review after I finish games, but... If I had to nab a score onto the end of Bloodborne, right now, I think I would give it 9 out of 10. So, to start the positives of the game, um, obviously, boss design in this was absolutely phenomenal, especially in comparison to Dark Souls 2, where every other boss was a fucking knight, you know? The boss was a knight, his mother was a knight, their cousins were knights, it was just fucking terrible. And the boss design in this game, man, like, dude... HP Lovecraft would have a boner playing this game. Just from the sheer boss design and the amounts of like Cthulhu looking things and squids all over the place. Crazy looking bosses. Uh, on top of that, the combat PvE wise especially feels incredibly crisp. You know, the movements are very precise, the dodging is on point. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I like how it was more of a focus of dodging and not so much rolling like it was in Dark Souls. Um, music. Music was beautiful, visuals beautiful. Like, overall, just a fantastic game. So, you're probably wondering why I said 9 out of 10. Obviously, I did deduct a point, simply because of the fact that the load times on this game are absolutely fucking atrocious. Like, the load times on this game rival that of, like, Skyrim on consoles, which is saying something. Um, not only that, but I feel that the connectivity option in this game was kind of a step backwards. You know, when you look at the system they had in place for both Dark Souls and Demon Souls with the signs and, you know, somebody puts down their sign and you can pick them up and connect together. That's a good system. And I like the co-op idea about, you know, being able to put in a passcode and then after you put in the passcode, you just ring the bell and you connect. But, you know, as the game is right now, there's really no way to hold fight clubs, you know? Like, from, from a PvP perspective, it's basically ringing a bell and hoping you get into a game. So the only real way a fight club would be even possible would be for a host to summon in a specific person and then just hope that the random invader that joins the game is someone that wanted to fight in the fight club, you know? And I feel like that's that's a huge step backwards compared to what they had back in Dark Souls 2 and even Dark Souls 1 for that matter. So, a bit disappointed with that, but you know, the... Uh, the bunked multiplayer aspect of it, and the loading screens aside, it is still an amazing game. Personally, I wish there were a couple more weapons and armor. I feel like the Fashion Souls was also kind of lacking this time around. You know, pretty much regardless of what you decided to wear, you were going to be a, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you're basically a guy in a cape. Like, it's, it's, your, it's almost always a guy in a cape or a guy in a duster. There's... Very, very limited uh, fashion sense in this game in comparison to Souls, where, you know, you have the heavy armors, like the super heavy armors, the leathers, and I feel like this game, moving away from the armor, you know, obviously everything was basically leathers, but there weren't all that many design-wise. Like, everything kind of, especially like the hunter outfits, you know, they're all just reskins, different colors, stuff like that, but overall, still an excellent game. Probably going to be a strong contender for a 2015 game of the year, in my opinion, but Either way, guys, moving on from here, of course, I will be making a slew of build videos. If you still can't get enough of Bloodborne, make sure to tune into Twitch on Friday nights as we're going to be doing the drunk through. Additionally, there's a good chance I'll be starting a co-op run every Monday night with a couple friends that I met at E3 last year, so that should be a good time. And then, of course, as more people begin to reach the meta cap of level 100, we'll be doing loads and loads of PvP on stream, so... Either way, thank you for coming by, guys. I appreciate your viewership through the entirety of the series. And make sure to stay tuned for more Bloodborne content.